Welcome, fellow explorers, to a quick note, where we embark on a journey through the wonders of our planet's mysteries. Today, we delve into the captivating tales of Salt's Odyssey, how it intricately weaves through Earth's systems, shaping our oceans and challenging our understanding of time. Before we dive into the Salty Chronicles, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an adventure with us. In the vast expanse of our planet, water plays a crucial role in sustaining life. As Samuel Taylor Coleridge eloquently penned in his timeless poem, The Rime of the Ancient Mariner, Water, water everywhere, comma, slash, nor any drop to drink. This poetic lament resonates with the inherent challenge faced by those navigating the vast seas, the necessity of water for survival, yet the inability to quench one's thirst with the surrounding salty seawater. Consider this, Earth, our home, is adorned with majestic oceans that span a staggering 70% of its surface. Surprisingly, these vast bodies of water, while captivating in their sheer enormity, harbor a significant drawback, a staggering 97% of them are composed of water that is unfit for consumption due to its high salt content. The salt concentration in ocean water is measured at 35 parts per thousand, a seemingly small figure that translates to a staggering 120 million tons of salt per cubic mile of seawater. Now, brace yourself for this astonishing fact, there are approximately 332,519,000 cubic miles, 1,386,000,000 cubic kilometers, of water comprising our oceans. The pressing question arises, where does this colossal amount of salt come from, and how did it find its way into the very lifeblood of our planet? Delving into the origins of this saline abundance, we unravel a captivating tale that spans millennia. The Earth's oceans, once believed to have been formed through the accumulation of water vapor released, during volcanic activities, gradually became repositories of dissolved minerals. Over eons, rainwater, carrying minute amounts of minerals, flowed into the oceans, contributing to the ever-increasing salinity. Picture this process as a grand alchemical dance where Earth's elements, over countless centuries, mingled and merged, resulting in the mesmerizing expanses of salt-laden oceans that we witness today. It's a tale of geological romance, where the planet's natural processes have choreographed the composition of our oceans, turning them into vast reservoirs of life-sustaining water with a touch of the sea's characteristic salinity. As we navigate the immense blue realms of our oceans, it's fascinating to ponder the intricate dance between land and sea, rain and tide, that has led to the creation of these saline wonders. Coleridge's lament, nor any drop to drink, takes on new dimensions as we appreciate the delicate balance that sustains life on our planet and the relentless journey of water through the eons, transforming it into the precious elixir of our existence. So, the next time you gaze upon the boundless seas, remember the ancient tale of salt and water, a story etched into the very fabric of Earth's history. The journey of water, primarily sourced from the land, unfolds as a fascinating narrative in the intricate dance of nature. It begins with the formation of rain, a celestial occurrence that not only quenches the Earth's thirst but also sets in motion a series of transformative events. As raindrops form and descend through the air, they embark on a journey that extends beyond mere hydration. Along the way, these raindrops absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, undergoing a subtle chemical transformation that imparts a slight acidity to the water. This acidified rain then meanders over the land, weaving its way through diverse terrains, eroding rocks, and collecting minuscule amounts of salt and other dissolved minerals. At this juncture, the water remains essentially fresh, with a hint of salt that, while present, does not render it undrinkable. It's a delicate balance that allows for the sustenance of life, a testament to the resilience of nature's design. Yet, this freshwater journey is destined for a convergence with the grandeur of the oceans. As rainwater ultimately makes its way to the ocean, it carries with it the accumulated essence of its terrestrial voyage. However, 
The transition from fresh water to the saline expanse of the ocean is not without its nuances. Upon reaching the oceanic realm, biological processes come into play, selectively removing certain dissolved minerals, like calcium, from the water. Nevertheless, salt, with its persistent nature, tends to linger. The ocean, vast and seemingly boundless, becomes the final destination for the majority of rainwater. Once embraced by the ocean, the water undergoes a fascinating interplay with underwater hydrothermal and volcanic activities. These natural processes contribute additional salt, further enriching the seawater with the minerals extracted from the Earth's depths. In essence, the ocean becomes a repository of stories written in salt, a testament to the geological and biological forces shaping our planet. It's a dynamic narrative where rainwater, once innocent and fresh, transforms into the briny essence of the sea through a symphony of natural processes. As we contemplate the intricate journey of water, from land to sky to ocean depths, we gain a profound appreciation for the interconnectedness of Earth's systems and the captivating tales etched in every drop of this life-sustaining elixir. The intriguing notion that salt gradually found its way into the vast expanse of the sea, courtesy of rivers, was first introduced by the visionary British astronomer Edmund Halley in the year 1715. Halley's groundbreaking observation didn't merely stop at proposing this salt deposition process, he took it a step further by suggesting that the salinity of seawater could function as a sort of natural clock, a timekeeper revealing the age of the ocean and, by extension, the earth itself. In Halley's ingenious hypothesis, he postulated that by dividing the total volume of ocean water by the rate at which salt was being deposited, one could unveil the temporal story of the ocean's salinity evolution. It was a bold conjecture, one that hinted at a method to gauge the age of our planet based on the salty chronicles of its expansive oceans. However, the precision of measurement techniques during Halley's era fell short of enabling the realization of this ambitious calculation. Fast forward to 1899 when the Irish physicist John Jolie took up the challenge, attempting to breathe life into Halley's concept. Armed with more advanced measurement techniques, Jolie ventured into the calculation, arriving at an estimate of 90 million years, as the age of the ocean based on its salinity evolution. Little did he know, this estimate would later be proven to be a substantial underestimate, with subsequent, more refined techniques revealing the actual age to be approximately 4 billion years, a testament to the vastness of geological time. Despite its visionary nature, Halley's scheme faced inherent flaws from its inception. One critical oversight, was his failure to consider the sequestration of some sea salt in the form of mineral deposits on the seafloor. This overlooked nuance significantly impacted the accuracy of the calculated age. The intricacies of Earth's dynamic systems and the complexity of the oceanic environment, with its hidden reservoirs of salt, served as reminders that even the most brilliant minds can be humbled by the multifaceted nature of our planet's history. Halley's bold hypothesis, although flawed, sparked a journey of scientific inquiry and exploration that ultimately led to a deeper understanding of Earth's ancient past. It serves as a testament to the ever-evolving nature of scientific knowledge, where each discovery, even those with imperfections, contributes to the grand tapestry of our understanding of the world around us. And there you have it, the mesmerizing saga of Salt's journey, a narrative etched in the very fabric of Earth's history. If you enjoyed this exploration, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to A Quick Note for more fascinating content, and ring that notification bell to stay tuned for future expeditions. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of our planet, and thank you for joining us on this incredible adventure.